Hello viewers, my name is Aaron, we're back with more Tekken 5 on the good old PlayStation 2. Story battle action continues with a little girl. The King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. Specifically, this little girl, the little girl who has a panda as a pet bodyguard and also happens to be the main protagonist's waifu. Ling Xiaoyu. Ling Xiaoyu time, Jin, eat your heart out. Ling Xiaoyu, out to save the Mishima Zaibatsu. She learned the Zaibatsu's troubled history after Yoshimitsu rescued her. So he rescues Brian and Xiaoyu. Yoshimitsu is a wonderful Samaritan. Xiaoyu felt it all began when Heihachi threw Kazuya into a ravine. No! She cried when she heard of Heihachi's death. If only I could turn back time, says Xiaoyu. If I had a dollar every time I heard or read that phrase. We've all said it at one point in our lives. Around then, a scientist told her he could create a time machine for a price. She opens her invitation to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. With the prize money, she could make everything right. There is nothing sketchy about this proposition whatsoever. Let's go win the tournament, earn the money, and pay the Get money to this... <laughs> Very random scientist. <laughs> and we're gonna find ourselves in a fight. Brian Furry kicks things off with his epic laugh that would unfortunately get replaced after this game. So enjoy it, everybody. This will be the last game where he would laugh in such a manner. Okay, so Xiao Yu has returned as has her schoolgirl outfit. Unfortunately for us, though. Miharu has not accompanied her in this particular tournament. She would be absent from the series until Tekken Tag Tournament 2. But let's go ahead and pretend that this is Miharu anyway, simply because Xiao Yu's rocking the schoolgirl outfit. And by the way, you need to hit the R2 button when selecting Lin Xiao Yu if you want to fight in her schoolgirl outfit, in case you didn't know. Okay, so she has some new moves, one of which is this one Shooting Star. This one is very annoying when I get hit by it, as you can see right there. It's very petty, it's annoying, it's brutal. But when I hit it on somebody else, it's not that much better. I don't like it. <laughs> but it does serve its purpose as a whiff punisher in this game. The peace sign, right at Brian Furry. GG's, she's trying to say. And now she finds herself in a brouhaha with Steve Fox. Round one. The boxer from Fight. Britain is ready to go. The man formerly known as Dean Earwicker, and he could have been known as Leonard Gardner, Ryan Lewis, and even Sugar McGregor. All names I would have had no problem with anyway, considering that I am the huge boxing dude here. But we get Steve Fox, and that's a cool name too. Xiao Yu makes quick work of him here in the first round. As far as grabs go, Xiao Yu doesn't really have all that many, apart from her generic throws. Although that one is one of them right there. So it's quarter circle back. One plus two. Oh yeah, and then of course AOP is back. AOP has returned. And depending on which move you use, you can launch your opponent. Or you can poke at him a little bit. Or you can avoid moves altogether. AOP avoids a lot of highs and some mids. It's a very good move. You win. <laughs> I I almost forgot about that Winnie pose. She's all like, on, I can't believe Show I killed the guy. How did I do that? Nina Williams has returned here, wearing the gold dress. Oh yes, and you know what else has returned for Ling Xiaoyu? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you can parry if you want to. Darn it. Oh, I parried. <laughs> Take that, Nina. Take that. Okay, how about I do it this way? Okay. Now usually that is down back one. There you go. That taunt has returned. You can do it right there. If you get a very clean hit off of down back one. Or you can do it manually by simultaneously hitting one, three, and four. She's fishing for a parry there. I will get it at some point. No, not that. There it is. Okay, I did it. But of course, if you <laughs> if you go for it, you run the risk of getting hit by something because you're wide open. So only do it if you want to uh, taunt your opponent after you win, or maybe during the match when you're in a position where they're not really going to hurt you. Use it at your discretion. 
So we finish things off with one, two, and then a little X marks the spot. Another very good move in this game. Yeah, I suppose you are. He destroyed a dude, a boxer, a Nina, and then that Brian Furry guy. Oh, they're reunited. Wait a minute. He's dead. That's right, Jin. She's gonna build a DeLorean, whether you allowed her to or not. This is for the DeLorean, man. So Waifu and Husbando are running wild against each other here at the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 on the Def Jam stage. Oh my god! He is not taking it easy on his waifu. He's destroying the heck out of Ling Xiaoyu. Now she takes him down with a generic throw. Shooting star might have been a good idea there, but it didn't land. There it is. <laughs> KO! With the annoying move. Okay. Yeah, even when I do it, I feel very filthy. So I'm not gonna do it as much. Unless there's some type of whip punish and like, he's wide open for it. Okay, so as far as combos go, there was really only one that I remember off the top of my head. Whoa, did you see that? I was at AOP and I avoided two of his highs. So that's an evasive maneuver, as you can imagine. A lot of things you could do off of AOP. Oh! Yes. And there she goes with the taunt after the down back one. Well, after he was knocked out, Jean Kazama has lost to his waifu. Yeah, so that was a worthy sacrifice. Uh, the husband of Shayu. <laughs> we have a DeLorean to build, damn it. But in order to get there, we have to destroy a jackass. A jackass. Okay. X marks the spot. It really serves its best purpose as a combo winner, but even by itself is pretty good. Please stop doing that annoying move on me. I gotta say, that is annoying, as annoying as I find Shooting Star to be for Xiaoyu. That, those low kicks by Jack. <laughs> They're on another level. Easily, you could low parry them, but my goodness. And they're very slow too. So it's really my fault when I get hit by them, but <laughs> I remember back in the day, it used to drive me nuts as a little youngster. I would think this move's terrible. Get it out of the game. I really would. Okay, another look at it. Running three takes down Jack. He is down again, and that makes me happy. Don't be sorry that you destroyed a jack. Embrace it. Go easy on me. So now we have a very lovely lady to destroy here. Christy Montello. It's very strange seeing stage 6 as the Dragon's Nest stage. Typically you see it in stage 1, as had been the case early on in the playthrough. But here, we see it on the later stages. No complaints, however. It's a good stage. It's a very good one. That's another good move for Ling Xiaoyu that I haven't been doing nearly as much as I should. Down forward one. My goodness, this chop right here is amazing. If you want to get your opponent to stop button meshing, if you want to negate some type of high, this is your move right here. It's very good and it also allows you to transition into her back stance. I'm trying to remember what that was called. What was it called? Uh, oh yes, Rain Dance. The Rain Dance stance, where she shows her back at you, and then she has a plethora of other moves that she can do from there. Observe. Oh, that didn't go right. That's not right. God, Ryo, stop it! That's another throw for about 15 damage. It's called So Shumi. It's a very uh, subtle pun, I know. And he did an elbow drop to the ground, apparently. Maybe he loves this stage so much that he had to put his carcass on the floor. I wouldn't put it past Gan Ryu. Oi! Oops. I wasn't fast enough with the chop. Gan Ryu has a round on me here on stage 7. 
It is Moonlit Wilderness, the stage that you can never go wrong with in any Tekken game. They could bring this back in every Tekken game if they wanted to, and I would have no problem with that. No fan would, in my humble opinion. Oh, great. Let's see here. I gotta come back. Alright, I didn't whip that time. Yes. Get him while he's down, force the final round, and ensure that we continue on. Because we got a time machine to build. That's what's at stake here for Link Shall Yu's story battle. She also still has down 3 4, although it's very slow in this game. And the second hit is a high. They can easily duck it, as Ganryu illustrated right there not a moment ago. And yes, excellent. That was Bird's Flock. 1 plus 2. The beauty about that move is it serves as a great way to mix up the opponent. You win. She gives a peace sign to Ganryu, saying GG's. You were a worthy event. opponent, Ganryu, but this little girl has a little bit she more in the tank than you actually believe. Whether she has her best friend with her or not. So now, Jin is cheating. He entered the tournament as himself. And he got destroyed by Xiao Yu earlier in the tournament. So now he enters as Devil Jin and he wants a piece of her again. I blocked the... Oh, not before I got can can He is pissed as Jin. So you know now he doesn't have any remorse. I mean, he wasn't even showing remorse early on in that battle with Xiao Yu in Stage 4. But here all bets are off because this guy is supposed to be evil and stuff. This is a dastardly bastard right here, Devil Jin. All right, nice whiff. Sweet. Down four forces the final round, and here we go. Throw around Jin a little bit. Throw him around. Oh, that was a bad whiff right there on my part. Punish that. Punish that. That was a little whiff punish right there. Oh, yeah, Cyanide. You know what? Cyanide, when it knocks down, you can get an X marks the spot. Most of the time, anyway. I missed it right there. But on knockdown, you should be able to get X marks the spot. Two extra hits right there. Let's see if I can get it against this next guy. It would be perfect. And he's big enough, so it should work. Die. Sweet. So we finally got a non-time attack intro right here for Link Xiaoyu. And you gotta love it. How Jinpachi's very serious about killing people and killing Xiaoyu, and it doesn't matter who's in front of him, he's gonna kill them all. But he secretly wants you to kill him and all that. <laughs> but she's all, uh, if I did this, then I could get some money, and then the prize money will be mine, and then I could get the time machine, and I could stop Tehachi from throwing Kazuya off the cliff, and ah! And then Jin will love me, and we can get married, and ah, and ah. <laughs> That's what she's thinking, man. She doesn't really care about. This giant bastard with a mouth on his stomach. Yes, all right. <laughs> he walked right into it. He might have been going for the Doria. But I defeat him two rounds to nothing with Ling Xiaoyu, and I'm happy. Peace out, Jim Pachi. Now, where's the money? Where shall you flipping paycheck? All right, widescreen, so I shall skip. See what I mean? He secretly wanted you to kick his ass. And she did. <laughs> Give me my money! <laughs> okay, it looks like she got the money. Because now we're in anime world. Because anime makes everything better. Did you notice what that little song did right there just now? Ba 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 Shall you listen to it again? It's pretty fascinating. Anime Shall you goes back in time. Yes, she has. Funnily enough, we would get to play this out in Tekken 7. <laughs> he still falls. <laughs> <laughs> I 
ばちょっと修正されるぐらいが関の山じゃん。Looks like Shao Yu got scammed. I totally did not see that coming. And neither did any of you. That was Jin Kazama's waifu's story battle here on Tekken 5. I am Aaronetic. There will be more story battle here soon. See ya.